Right then, welcome back guys. Um, this is another video that we're gonna do. Uh, this time, we're gonna be putting directional lighting, so that's whites and rears, in this uh, Hornby Class 66. This model itself is a few years old, but obviously Hornby being Hornby, they haven't changed their loco design that much. So what we're gonna be doing is be installing this kit here, which is simple to install um, and really does obviously bring the model to life, giving meaning that you can add lights to it. So, might as well get on with it. The first thing we're going to do is drill out four lights down here and one up the top in that marker light. Um, prototypically, you're meant to use these side markers, but they're a bit too fiddly to use. So what we use is the inner reds and these two whites here. The circuit itself does have a dimmer light to sort of represent the side marker light. Um, but yeah, what we're gonna do first is pilot drill these four, all with sort of a, a one millimeter or 0.5 millimeter drill, just to stop the dry drill from swaying. So uh, what I'll do is, this is it here, just one millimeter drill. So what I'll do is pilot hole, drill these five holes, and then come back and we'll carry on from there. Right then, so here we go guys. All I've done is just pilot drilled with a one millimeter drill, the five drills. But obviously when doing this, I can't emphasize enough just, just to take your time with it. With a slow speed just to start off and get the hole perfectly in line. Um, I mean, it can be resolved later, but it's much easier just to take your time, get the holes aligned properly. So what we're going to do then is then get the final 2mm drill bit. It's obviously 2mm, and what we're just going to do is just slowly just drill that out to 2mm on each of those holes, ready to accept the lenses. So what I'll do now is just change the drill, and I'll get on with it, and then I'll show you when it's all drilled out to 2 mil what it's going to look like. So welcome back again guys. So what I managed to do is drill all these holes out to two millimeters and then also um, what I done was went from a one mil to a 1.5 to then a two mil just to stop it snatching. Um, and I, what I think Hornby done is there's where you drill this out is actually the fixing lug. Um, for up there, so when I went to a 1.5, it fell off. So I've just drilled that out to two millimeters and then managed to keep the top marker light. And what I did with that was get a pair of pliers, and just pinch it either side on the table, and then just slowly just clean it out with the drill. But that'll get fixed on when we do the lights. So what we've got next is we leave this off to one side, and then what we do is we bring in the chassis and what we're going to do is we're going to do the work on this end here so that we can fit the light board in to get it all onto the next stage so what we want to do now is we just want to take the seat out so that just unclips out and what you want to do is where these foot plates are you've just got to cut down slightly I think it's about 3 mil and just remove the material from in there so you get perfect lights coming through. So what I'll do is I'll do that work and then show you just before we go on to the next step. Sorry about that, the camera just died. But what we've got here is the kit. So you've got your central circuit board here, which has got your DC running and your DCC solder pins. You've got enough wire there for the length of the loco. The light in head, which I've just put some blue tech on either side just to stop any light bleed going across later and you've got your light to your top marker so what, what we're going to do is hopefully should fit nicely so what we do is we just fit this in the front of the loco just need some super glue just to fix it in place so what you just want to do is just get it so it fits nicely and just a dab of super glue just to hold it at the front. The super glue will work. So 
So all you want is just a little dab, just to fix it in place like so. So from there what we we'll do is we can just leave that to glue for a couple of minutes now just to harden properly and then what we we'll do is we we'll move on to the next step. Right so that's had some time to dry now. So what we've got here is like I said earlier if you're running uh, old analog use the two track track pickups and you just solder a wire across here or if you're using digital you connect the blue wire, the yellow wire and the white wire to this uh, so because this is running DC at the moment what we do is we connect up the uh, the analog running so what we're going to do is just take this off and unscrew it just so we can get to it, just get to the underside and then from there what we do is we've got two bits of wire, one here and I think one's falling on the floor but we wire this onto the two track running so we can get it to run what I forgot to add is that if uh, I'm going to be doing digital or DCC for this loco but what I forgot to add is if it comes ready DCC ready it's best to wire it up as if it was DCC running it just saves any troubleshooting later or anything like that so what I'm going to do now is I've put three wires onto the back of this board which is your blue common wire, your yellow and your white so what I'm going to do is just solder them onto these three pads um, and the DCC ready of the DCC ready socket which you obviously fit in this if it's not digital that will um, work out what direction it is and what direction the lights need to be I hope I've explained that enough. But all I'm doing now is just connecting those three wires to the board. So this is the only bit of real soldering that needs to be done. Everything else comes pre pre-assembled. But obviously if you if your loco is an old Lima style and it doesn't come with a DCC socket then the easiest thing to be would be use the left and right rail solder pads up here but like I said because we've got this 8 pin socket if we ever decide to revert back to digital or analog it'll work regardless so now that's in now that's all wired up that now just fits inside the loco so I just move the marker light out if I put this up out the way for the minute Hello, right, what I've decided to do is put this little uh, clip in, it might sound a bit different on here, but what this is, is this is the main board which you wire to, um, obviously this, these two rows of connectors here are already wired into the lighting circuit, but what the easiest way to describe it is, if you're running DCC ready, DCC fitted or DCC sound, it's best to use these three solder pads here and wire it up to the decoder socket it just saves any confusion like we said but obviously on the other side if you're running old analog and have no intention of changing over to DCC it's best to use these two solder pads up here which are for the which go straight onto the track contacts so yeah hopefully this is just a, an easier way to understand which side that you use um, but yeah, we'll get on with the fitting now. And what I'll do is I'll fit. What we do now is fit the top marker light up in here. So all the, because of the holes we drilled earlier, all you want to do is just gently feed in this marker light. And it's a process of just getting it lined up just right. And then when it is, it'll just slide straight in takes a bit of getting used to like I say it really is a bit tricky but then when it does go in I'll wait for all the innuendos what I'm going to do is pause it here get this in 
then I come back. Well, after about five minutes of fitting and playing around with it, I've managed to get it through. So what I'm gonna do now is with the same bit of super glue, is just put a dab on the inside. Nothing too much, obviously, because it frosts the glass. But you just want it so it's sort of flush fitting, like so. And then what we do is we put the body on, fit the cab, fit the cab back in, get the body on, and then we work on finishing off the lights out here. So now we're back again. Obviously the body's on, everything's inserted, everything's wired up. So what we've got here is the last little detail, which is these four hole clusters here. I mean the light does come through, but to really sort of get a, a top finish. The kit comes with eight of these little plastic parts. Now the best thing to do with these, they come a bit sharp on the edges. So the best thing to do, if you can see there, is to get a nail file and a pair of pliers. And what I'd suggest is just holding them and just gently rubbing them just to get a nice smooth finish on them and I just do the other side and then like so and then all you want to do is with that on the four holes down the bottom is just with a bit of care I know my fingers are in the way Just lightly just push them in, push them until they're home. Obviously that's a bit long, so what I'll do is I'll just trim a bit off that, like so, and I'll do the rest for the other four or the other three, and then, we'll, then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So then hopefully this is the last time that I have to stop the video, but as you can see, all the lights lenses are in, the top light clusters back on. Oh, and all that is a case of just pushing that on. And what I do is I put a tiny bit of glue on it. So, what I do now is take it over to the test track and we give it a go and see what it looks like. So, here we go. This is it on obviously on the test track. So, you've got your slightly dimmer light, your bright day running light, your top marker light. There's a slight bit of light bleed in the cab, but that can be sorted with a bit of insulation tape so then again if I change the direction you'll see there that you've got your rear lights so yeah that's the kit complete so like I say if you'd like subscribe um, and head over to our website where you can actually get this kit cheers thanks a lot